<laughs> All right, fuck it. We'll do this first. All right. I, I'm so... I am so interested in this. Um, new? Well, there's a lot of new stuff. So, cool cat movie on Tubi. I reacted to this already. Um, it's a 30-second video of Derek saying cool cats on Tubi, oh, which I think is fucking cool. Why not? Uh, but it... Uh, now makes me feel like okay, well, Kenny Hotz, you should be able to put like Kenny versus Spenny on something now. If Daddy Derek can put Cool Cat on Tubi, I don't think you got any excuses. Somebody has to mm -hmm. remind remind me in two weeks to email Kenny Hotz, and I'll try to, I'll I'll send him this video saying Cool Cat got on Tubi. What's your excuse? And then we'll see if maybe Kenny versus He's Spenny gets on Tubi because that would be very nice. Um, oh God. All right, brushing his teeth. Uh, so for those of you not up to date, uh, Daddy Derek is not on good terms with the original Cool Cat voice actor, so he's uh, he's now playing Cool Cat. He's dubbed over all the old stuff and re-released it, pretending like he never existed. Uh, so I'm assuming that that's what this clip will be like. This is literally footage from the first movie. So, uh... at <laughs> See, now those foot paws are a real first. <laughs> is what Joe Rogan needs. <laughs> to... <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but still. Oh, you see it feels print. great oh. to be awake. And I can hear my parents downstairs. I love how he thinks he can do the cool cat voice. I better have go I see cool what's cat, happening. Front to but back. first, but I've I seen better brush like my clips. teeth so I can have some minty fresh breath. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at the sweat stain. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, that's pretty good. I've never noticed that before. If this was all original cool cat footage, like he's released, like, I don't know, three or four different versions of the same movie since I reviewed it. I haven't watched them. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm waiting for like a new movie, but he keeps doing all these like recuts, you know? And I love cool cat. Can I have some privacy, please? Yeah. So this is, this is, look at all this sweat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that feels great! Now I'm going to brush my teeth to wash my face! Ma! Hello! Hey there. God, I just love that necklace! Aww. Time to. Did he replace Mama Cat's voice actress too? I remember he had a falling out with her too. Like, Daddy Derek has like zero connections or like good terms with like anybody now <laughs> like why do you keep re-releasing the same mo just just leave it as it is you know like fuck holy shit what are you doing brush those teeth you're like re-recording everything with yeah. worse audio i don't understand <laughs> like every single person you like fucking brush shoulders with you're like i can't yeah, stand yeah. that and then you like remove them from your existence or like I'm not even gonna credit them in my movies like what the fuck are you, you gotta doing edit dude them out. Hmm? Yeah, that's so petty where's the teeth yeah <laughs> looking good <laughs> Like, what's the point? The movie's already released. What's the point of redubbing everything just because you had a, f like, you and the original actor don't get along anymore? What's the point like the of that? Out for hip, hip, hip. Now, right? it's, it was like 2014 or 15. Almost a decade. The hop, hop, hop. I got a story to tell you about the coolest cat. His name is Cool Cat and the kids love him so. So you the better fuck? watch out because he's an anti-bullying hero. He's the rap master oh, and shit, everyone knows it's true. So you better not forget so you're cool too. Oh, fuck. So you want to rap? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, why did it stop? Oh, no, he was spitting. Oh, uh, no, he was about we'll, to cook. We'll hear. Uh, he was about I'll to cook. I'll give you the full song later. <laughs> 
this. Well, Cat hates candy thieves. Those were some corrupt other rough ass. I'm glad because that was scary. You better not do that again. It's so sad because I've seen I I remember the original movie and I'm seeing these scenes of the redub for the first time. Even though I could have seen them a long time ago, but I'm just like, why? You know, like, am I really like I'm not gonna make a review of it? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Am I really just gonna watch this redub? <laughs> this is a special news report. It's, it's probably clear. gonna be funny enough. There's been several robberies. Bad guys are stealing candy from babies. This is horrible. I love babies, and it's not cool to steal candy from a baby. Oops. That person is just a big bully for picking on babies. Mm. They should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this is another kid's alert. The candy thief is struck again. All the kids are crying. Help, police. Oh, no! Stealing is no good, and we need to stop that candy crook. It's our duty for the children! He pronounced children. children right this time. He used to say children, so... I think he said children. Help! Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> the hot, hot, hot. I've got the story about the coolest cat. His name is Cool Cat, and the kids love him so. So, so watch it, watch out, because he's, he's the new anti-bullying hero. hero. He's, he's a rap master, master and everyone knows it's true. Because, yeah, of course I've heard a fucking million times. Of course. Cool too. So if you want to rap and be... All right. Uh, hey guys, he better release it's that Derek whole song. here, and hey, got a uh, Oops. I'm gonna be pissed. A really cool Spotify, update Derek. on the film, and also Spotify. I'm about to tell you of a few jobs postings that we need to complete the film. So if you're looking to be in the in the Cool Cat <laughs> film family, hey, here's a great chance for you to get a great. Again, this is a movie you've already released, right? Like credit on IMDb and Dirty Dog too. Okay. For De Derek is playing Dirty Dog. <laughs> First of all, um, the film Cool Cat versus. While well, he's at least voicing Dirty oh, Dog. This is a disgusting dog, video. The okay. Virus wars. Literally everything is put together now. All the footage. I just got. I still got to work on the beginning and the. It's mostly going to be Cool Cat versus Coronavirus that you've already released, <laughs> right? Like that's mostly just shit you've already released, right? In credits, uh, but unfortunately, we did not hit. The, the important 61 minute mark, which would help to get it on streaming services like Tubi. And speak. I mean, sure. <laughs> if you already got the other one on Tubi, go for it. Speaking about Tubi, our last minutes. movie, oh, no. Cool Cat Saves the Kids, the director's cut, is on Tubi. Go there, just search Cool Cat, and hey. The fact that this film has a director's cut, it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you were in control of the first cut. Director's cut usually implies like, oh, the studios had, yeah, the studio you know, the studio had some the interference. Yeah. There were disagreements. The first cut was the director's cut. Yeah, there are disagreements over what the final cut should be. And this, this is like, is all just you disagreements with you, you and yourself when you made the movie. And have a lot of fun because it's a great film. And, um, we are now at the 55 minute mark on the film, which means very long credits well hey of course i got a backup plan i've been doing this a lot of years and what that means is i need to add another scene really i have two in mind and one of those is a cool cat music video and it's called <laughs> take a picture and there will even be um uh, 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 i'm excited a way an avenue for you to actually get your face in a cool cat film i thought of something that in a would picture really in the great. background so mm -hmm. Mama Cat is referenced to a few times in the film, but we don't have a Mama Cat scene. So I do want to add Mama Cat in it. You know, she's she's everybody's favorite. Black Power. Mama, because she's just super duper cool. <laughs> and, uh, Why did he do that? He does it every video. <laughs> and I don't know. I remember it, in, in this film, when I gave Mama Cat a big old hug, a lot of you just sort of went local on it. So I wonder how you're going to act if I was to give Mama Cat a big old Mm. Kits. Oh, Lordy B. It's probably going to drive some of you local. That'll make it worthwhile right there. What? <laughs> this is very. Uh, they, we're sharing a lot of themes with the Joe Rogan thing we just watched, where uh, someone really loves furry porn here. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, damn, I saw someone doing the mama cat. <laughs> Yiff. <laughs>
<laughs> Seem, seems like he's thinking about that. Daddy Derek, closet furry, or just regular furry. But um, with you that, decide. that scene I, and I with the new closet, I think Cool Cat was just coming out. You know, when we were on good terms, I just told them, like, go to a convention and sell your shit. People would buy it. This is like the room of furry movies, you know? Like, pe fuck, like, You'd go to people a were. And have there was a lives. period in time when, I, you know, when I released my first Cool Cat review, there were like a bunch of furries wearing like Cool Cat shirts. It was like the unofficial YMS merch at the time, pretty much. My merch is still shit. I need to come up with better designs, but you know, people, people. <laughs> That's funny. People were wearing it. Now, I don't know. He's like, he's made himself a little toxic as a brand. New music video that would bring us over the 61 minute mark would not drop a sweat on the forehead. So that, that that's the game plan right there. OK, now here's what I need. Um, an FX guy. Dirty dog may have a gas <laughs> or a farting problem. <laughs> I mean, it's accurate. Really? It's, it's accurate. Sure. <laughs> You're, you've written in farting scenes? No! Oh, I don't know. And, and that really Man. might tie big into the story. What the fuck? When <laughs> farting is an emphasis uh, in kids' movies. Uh, <laughs> it really might tie in big to the story. It's, it's hard Dur not to take it as fetish bait. I, why? What? Why would you put it in there? <laughs> Dirty dog may have a gas or a farting. The way he looks at the camera, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, wink, wink. He's like, it's like he's like, speaking to people who would be viewing this as like fetishists or something. He's like, he may have a uh, farting. You know, like, look, what is he? What is he doing there? What? Why is he doing quotes? What he quotes implies <laughs> something else. What do you mean then? <laughs> Why are you doing quotes? This is a uh, not a good look. What are you talking about? Derek. An FX guy. Dirty dog may have a gas. What's weird, you can tell he cut something else out. He was about to say like you could hear the letter F. Yeah. Before he cut the audio, right? I'll boost it. Hold on. Dog may have a gas. Mm -hmm. Gas? Get, he like he he cut to a title because he cut something out of his sentence. I don't know what he was doing. Or a farting problem. Oh, I don't. <laughs> what is in the bottle? No. <laughs> is that his fart dance? Dirty oh, and, and, and that really might tie big into the story. So it's I need somebody who's really good at FX. All the scenes are already. I need the best FX person for the fart scene. <laughs> filmed and edited so i'll get the footage to you a couple links to work you have done and to to uh cool cat's official address and that's cool cat loves you at yahoo.com and we also have um, i got two songs i need to have scored so somebody who's good you made the songs but the music isn't there yet the music who wants to get their name out there attached to a cool cat project one of them is a cool cat song would be the take the picture song and the other all right somebody who's who's got hans zimmer on the line because i feel like this is like a good <laughs> project for him Brittany. It's Britney, bitch. The one is a dirty dog song. And, 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 and I want. Why did he, he did reach out to like, well, no, he didn't like literally, but he like made like a public plea towards like Britney Spears at one point. He was like, I want to get Britney Spears in the new Cool Cat movie. And I'm just thinking like, was that only because like it was public that she's vulnerable? <laughs> <laughs> like it was it was around the time where it's like oh yeah she's like in a conservatorship and she's like breaking free of that like was his response to like this person is very publicly vulnerable and easy to take advantage of he's like i gotta get her mm -hmm. was that it some rock beat in the dirty dog song and i would need somebody to yeah he might have just been piggybacking on britney news you're right that's the more charitable interpretation
I'll accept that. Compose the project also. A lot of the music's already laid, so it's not composing a one hour project at all. It's composing about that much right there. Just the top right there. everything. And, and guys, I'm about to post another video uh, for the 420 awards. I need Yes! We've got another commentary recording coming up next month. So if this is if this is uh, out by then, we will include it. An editor for that. So hey, keep your eyes out. Okay. The fact that he's that he's making a public post for like an editor for projects that he's previously had other people editing means that the people that he's worked with already are not on good terms with him. <laughs> for him to be making these posts and not have like, come on, what are you doing? Like every relationship. For that, it's time for me to sign out. Now. Really? Now, have a great day. And remember, Cool Cat loves you. Hip, 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 the hop, hop, hop. I got, I got a story, story to tell y'all about the coolest cat. cat. His, His name is Cool Cat, cat and the kids love him so. So you better, better watch out, cause he's, he's the new anti-bullying hero. He's the rap master and everyone knows it's true. So, so you better watch him so so you're cool, cool too. So if you want to rap and be real cool, then think of Cool Cat and the rhymes will come to you. You might have to turn that down, Olivia. All right, last one. Here we go. Hey, guys, it's Derek room, here and got a 420 award update. Our fifth annual event was such a fun time. Also, this has been discussed before, but the like, this is the Cool Cat YouTube channel, presumably something for children, and he is advertising his marijuana awards show on it. <laughs> like, like, I get it. This is where, like, you've built an audience. You're welcome. But... Maybe like say like, hey, go to you know this other channel if you're an adult. Like not just I don't know. It's it's eh, kind of it inappropriate. To advertise this on the same. So thing part of the this. okay, this is this is a Kids fun movie. fact. People in my audience already know this. Maybe some people coming to this video don't know. Um, one of the uh falling out moments for the original Cool Cat voice actor slash performer and Derek Savage was him saying. Oh yeah, Cool Cat will host the 2420 awards and the Cool Cat actor saying, "Derek, we shouldn't do this cuz this is a children's character." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and them having a disagreement on that. <laughs> and that was like part of the falling out. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. And I and all I'm thinking is like, "Damn, he should have just went along with it." Cuz that would have been That would have so been hilarious. Good. If we could have OG Cool Cat voice in all this shit, I love OG Cool Cat voice. TTS is still on, by the way, if anybody wants to <laughs> try it out. Wow. And I tell you what, I invited a few folk over. So if you were if you were one of the lucky folk to be invited over, then you know how fun it was. OK, I, I, I've got everything placed together on almost everything, but I need an editor. So I'm putting out a calling. So if you like to be a part of the 420 award film family, hey, here's your chance right here. First of all, I want to show you something really spectacular. And this is the new 420 award trophy. I mean, just look. Hell yeah. Oh, gee, cool cat rocks. Is that cardboard on top? Look at this bad boy. Oh, God, it's so heavy. It must weigh at least eight to 10 pounds. Solid marble. <laughs> I mean, you would know <laughs> how much it weighed. <laughs> and I mean, I am so happy with this. You see, at the very beginning, this was the trophy right here. And I, I like how you have to show the old ones <laughs> to, to show the improvement. Never, never did like this just because it's... What? <laughs> I never liked it. What's the difference? <laughs> it looks like a high school trophy. Never... <laughs> <laughs> he has to shit on his old trophy for his new trophy to be cool. <laughs> Happy with it. And this right here is what I envisioned from the very beginning of... <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's really simple it's my god it's a massive improvement like just one dollar and zero cents daddy derek don't you think it's a bad idea to promote marijuana use to children <laughs> you sick fuck 
<laughs> yeah, that, that's how the conversation. Jason Johnson did it in the cool cat voice. <laughs> Took me a lot of time to, to be able to. P.S. I paid the voice actor for that TTS. I literally had him reading. Like I paid for studio time to get that. So it, this is not unethical AI. This is entirely ethical. He knew exactly what it was being used for. The voice actor got compensated. Thank you put this together. I, I make all these myself. I buy it piece by piece and put them together. And all I need now is um, a nice a plaque right there, 420 awards. I've seen <laughs> Emmy awards. I've seen what? What is this sentence? I've held Emmys, Tonys, and other, other top, top awards. awards. And, and 420, 420 awards, awards is bar is the bar coolest. The I think you meant to say is by far, not is bar. I like that. It's sure. Yeah, I think I think no, the intention it, is is by far. Yeah, but uh, yes. But if you added that, maybe it's like it's a little too long and, and it takes up another line and it just doesn't look as nice. He just shortened it. So it's just like, yeah, I think it's supposed to say is, is by yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. But you can just shorten by far to B.A.R. Um, oh, if you had an apostrophe, but if you don't, <laughs> if you just don't care, <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> I've seen XQC, I've seen Moon Moon, I've seen Pokimane, but the YMS stream is are the coolest, I think. <laughs> Tony Awards, I've never seen an Oscar award. Woo! Kill Bill, Chips. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox, Eric Estrada, Legends. Thank you. But I've seen a whole slew of the different. Sorry, why are you? Who is? Sorry, what award is this? And why are you carrying it? It looks like an Emmy or a Golden Globe. So they like went into like Eric Estrada's house Globe? and like took his Emmy for a photo. Like what? What are you talking about? The, the, the best movie, for example. Oh, sorry. I went to the. Okay. I went to the wrong spot. Sorry. I went to where it loaded. I've seen Tony Awards. I've never seen an Oscar. Why is Cool Cat holding this? Maybe it's a Tony. Mm -hmm. Oscar Award. What is they? That's an Emmy. So whose house is this? Is this Vivica's house? Oh my God. They film like, okay. All right. So for the lore, everybody interested in the lore, Cool Cat Saves the Kids 2015 or whatever year is a feature length film that is actually a bunch of short films that he made, loosely stitched together. Vivica A. Fox and Eric Estrada made their appearances in a short film called Cool Cat Stops Bullying under the guise that it's a short film, and then he just used the footage in his feature and then put them on the poster and the front cover and DVD. Um, That's smart. Oh, it's great. So it's like literally they're yeah, in one scene. <laughs> the scene. The scene before is like Cool Cat being like, I'm going to the backyard of Vivica A. F and just explaining how he gets there. And then like Daddy Derek's like, oh, I got to help Mama Cat get on her makeup. I'll might not show up there on time. And it's just explaining why Daddy Derek and Mama Cat are not there. So it's literally just setting up the next. Yeah, it's like each scene is tied together in that way. It's very funny. And so now these two who thought they were being in like a short film just promoting some sort of like i don't know charity cause look good for their image are now kind of like attached to this like monstrosity <laughs> that's like morphed into like something way bigger and more <laughs> weird than they signed up for but they signed the rights away to, you know they you sign away the footage the person can do whatever they want with it in those standard contracts it's like you know, I can do whatever the fuck I want with this footage, so. But I've seen a whole slew of the different major awards, and this one right here by far whoops. Like, the fact that they took that picture is very funny. What do you think his excuse was for taking that picture to them to pose with that? He's like, oh, yeah, let's yeah. just hold, have Cool Cat holding a fucking Emmy or whatever. Why does Cool Every, Cat deserve to hold those? Yeah, what are you doing? One of them just whoops them, kicks them right in the butt I'm talking about, baby. This, this is really cool, and it's just... <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of promoting your award show by like tossing around the award and smashing it on your desk. Like this thick bros is really thick. Table. It's got some weight to it this year.
That's so funny. I mean, like, I agree with him. The 420 Awards is way better than the Oscars and the Tonys and the Emmys and the fucking Grammys. Why not? You know, like, I agree with Derek. The 420 Awards is better. <laughs> also, why does it say fifth annual when the fourth one didn't happen? I'm sorry. <laughs> The post. There was no fourth. One. Are you gonna it release was, that one too? Maybe like we, it was. Maybe it was. Uh, maybe, maybe it was happened unfilmed. and it was never released. Yeah, it was unfilmed. They still did it. They, they still just, did it. They just didn't. They just didn't record it in any way or. or like, is it? It was a private fifth, and fourth annual. It might have been private. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because he his original pl when he started the 420 awards he said. My goal is to make this the fourth largest award show in Hollywood, d despite it not being in Hollywood. And it, it was in Nevada. Fourth largest in Hollywood in four years. Mm -hmm. So he never did the fourth one. And may maybe it was. We just don't know the numbers. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, we'll never know. It was if really... he never releases it. Like, we don't know the stats here. Yeah. If you remember on the. It is lost media, but it was never released. <laughs> it's not lost. It was like. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Past the day the clown cried. 420 awards where um um like there's always five nominees. Oh, it got Batgirled. That's what happened. It's per category. There's usually nine categories. I used to have film clips. Oh, also, you know what? Fifth annual is in quotes, so that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth annual <laughs> 420 awards. Oh my god! I'm just realizing this now! The non woke awards show? <laughs> I didn't even notice! Did he change the poster? What the fuck? There's a different that? poster! It was okay, it was bigger. The non woke awards show? Fifth annual. The non. Derek! Derek! You cast yourself in a furry movie making it with a fucking fursuit girl. What are you doing, non-woke? What are you talking? This is the marijuana awards show. What do you mean, non-woke? <laughs> Not political was how he was how he advertised the first one. Not political. My my weed awards show. Not political. It's not legal in fucking half the country. What do you mean, non-woke? What do you mean? I want to hear your commentary on the other woke awards show. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know your exact opinions on the us, Derek. Derek, I want you to record a live commentary to the real Oscars <laughs> is what I really want, because I want to hear what you have to say about it. I might agree with a lot of it. You never know. You never know. But uh, wha what I want to know what you mean. Post those up on YouTube. I would get literally 20 to 25 copyright notifications saying notifications all right we're going back a bit hold on boys i used to have film clips of whatever it was whether it was a film or an actor whatever unfortunately whenever we try to post those up on youtube i would get Oops. literally 20 to 25 copyright notifications saying you cannot post this and so that's why i would always have i mean if you understood fair use you would fight it you just fight the claims and then release it. Also, the fact that this is, as of recording this right now, June 26th, and this was supposedly recorded April 20th, uh, you could have fought all those claims by this point if you just, you know, posted it on YouTube and then you know, they, they would be gone by this point. I have to edit everything and, you know, and, um, and to get it up on Tubi and all of these other... You're putting the 420 words on Tubi? I support this. Okay. Everybody, I can't make a call to action. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that. Every time I think like, everybody email this company. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't do, do that. For streaming service? But they, I, I know that certain streaming services do take recommendations like Criterion. They have like a literal page on their website where they're like, what movie would you like to see on Criterion? So I'm sure maybe Tubi has some sort of thing. Don't email them. But if they have... You know, a portal where they are open to this sort of suggestion and you actually want that to be on Tubi. I'm not saying to fabricate anything. I'm not saying for people to, like, harass anybody. I just want 
to make sure that people are aware that there are proper channels to do the thing to if you want something to be on the website if you want daddy derek's 420 awards to be on tubi which i do i'm just saying they might have a portal where you can make that suggestion versus um i can't have that so criterion definitely does <laughs> When I'm thinking now, we just have pictures like for the best film category, for example. I don't think Tom, Criterion's um, going to do Gun. Cool Cat. What? What are you talking about? It was one of them. You know, and here's how what I'm thinking. You know, like in the night. Should we take bets on what this image is going to. It's like one, two, three. Three, One, four, two, three, four, five, four twenty awards, five. <laughs> can, should we? Can we try to figure out what? The the, okay, that's <laughs> this is like a screen format for the nominees. Yeah, this oh, is initial drawing for like. Oh, what that's what he wants the editor be. to do. Oh, yeah. that's what he wants the editor to do. Okay, but not that size. I would assume. I would assume they would be next to each other. Right. Samples Gun at the end of video. Of you know, and here's how what I'm thinking. You know, like the I like how he doesn't top, link to them. Bam, bam, he just bam, puts them in the top, video. Top Gun. Gun, and then you just have a bunch of pictures flash from like pictures from the movie, and then the cover, and then the. Technically, the pictures are also copyrighted, but they will not get dinged by content ID in the same way. The cover flashes in and goes into here. Now this is where all the five nominees are going to be. The six one. I love how he scanned it. Right here is going to be the award with like a nice uh, haze. What does that mean? <laughs> Glow, you know, something behind it, like a sunburst or something. It looks beautiful. That, sunburst. what he just did with his hands gave me like a fucking flashback to like my friend's brother doing that in front of my face, like when I got too high or something. Like, wow, wow, wow. Nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're trying to do <laughs> Haze clothes, you know, something behind it. Like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? You look a sunburst or something. It looks beautiful. Sunburst. And then, boom, boom. And then the second movie, pictures, pictures, pictures. And nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. And it flows into three. It actually cured her uh, autism. Four, five. And then the winner is. So, I mean, this is a great opportunity for somebody who's. I, I can't. I can't fucking believe that this has been like on the screen the entire time and it says 420 awards the non-woke awards show <laughs> i fucking love it and the date like did he really record something in on april 20th or is it like the with the date that it's supposed to be <laughs> it's like what i want to know <laughs> also good call for me not to have my webcam in the top left corner this time holy shit i'm, I'm a fucking time traveler jesus good at editing i'll post up a, a, a sample of who uh, of the of the the best movie for example and so show me what you can do make a video i'm going to send you all this footage YouTube. of will smith accepting the 420 award and you need to edit it down and send me the link everyone um i'm, I'm going to pick the best one and next year's a show oh my lord it's going to be a live event so some of you are going to be able to come to law yeah Las Vegas and I'm not going, but it matters for We're other not. people. Be able to check it out right with us. All right, guys. What'd you say? We're not going. No. <laughs> I don't you I don't think I can make a disguise good enough for Derek and he's a gun nut and it's Nevada. Yeah. I don't want to go. You won't be one of the eight people that show up. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not going. There I love his content. He scares me. <laughs> you know? He does come off as a little unhinged, he, like a little. Uh, there is not a single person on the planet who has been able to maintain any kind of like friendship or relationship with him, and people have tried their goddamn best. This <laughs> is what I understand about this guy: is that people are trying their goddamn best to like, you know. Just like baby their way through any kind of like conversation or relationship with him. And he just like, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. It's not. There's some people that are just like so far gone and they have guns in America because that's how your country operates is that those people can have guns and have lots of them. Hey, have a great black power. Day. Make a fancy or flashy capital F presentation and post it on YouTube. 
best one gets the job with credit and pay capital credit capital pay hell yeah favorite kick-ass movie the gray man gold the contractor top gun maverick interceptor what the f <laughs> the fuck are these uh -huh. <laughs> I saw one of those movies. I don't know what any of the other four what are. The I don't know what, what are these other are. four movies? What are these movies? <laughs> what? I kind of want to watch the intercept or just intercept. for the name, yeah. All right. Well, boy, boy, oh boy, Derek. Thanks for watching. Here's the patron list for June 2023. Andres Avila, Easy Game 69, Nico Fuentes, Joel 999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, No Rope, T King, Salive 88, Trouble Man, Sammy Newton, Orange Juice Slurper has a tumor in her head the size of a peanut, Yup Yup Yup, Caden Mack, Charisma, The Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Mandel Bro, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, Hoofy Doe, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Happy Pride, everybody.